Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for the sign of Libra. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For any time in December, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? So if it doesn't resonate on this day, come back and watch it later. I get a lot of comments that say, I didn't think this was going to resonate, but I came back later and it did. So I get that a lot. So dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for the sign of Libra for the month of December? Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is something that is going to happen for them? Page of Cups. Now, this is welcome news. This is a, this is a welcome message. Um, this is an offer of love or tender loving care or emotional support. I just happened to notice the burst in the background. It's like a burst of joy. So this is this is good. This is really good. This is a joyful message. So you're going to receive a message or there's going to be something that happens that makes you very happy. Could have something to do with a child as well. The Page of Cups can often signify a child. can also signify a birth or pregnancy. Somebody could be getting very, very create, creative, creating something. Definitely emotional, but I think it's good. It's happy. It's like you're being brought an opportunity for love. Okay? That's what's happening. It's like, and that's, it almost looks like there's a star in the background. That's a wish. Okay? When I see the star, I think of a wish. Like a wish is being granted and it has to do with love. So there's some sort of opportunity for love. Oh, well, the star reversed. You may be losing hope. You may be feeling hopeless. But you just have to believe. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope, okay? Because I feel like you need to, you need to remain in a hopeful spirit. Because if things may not seem like they are very bright. But I think they're brighter than you think, okay? I do. I think they're brighter than you think. You may not think that there is a wish that is going to be granted. You may think that things are hopeless, but I, I just really feel like they're not. I think it's, it's not going to turn out the way that you think. You may be feeling hopeless, but that could just be a feeling. That your own insecurities, lack of faith... Seven, some, some seeds that you planted a long time ago are about to come to fruition. This is a seven of pentacles. Okay? It's time. It's harvest time. It's time. It's time for you to receive something. I know that it is. You may think, you may think that you've given up hope. I'm telling you what. I feel like it's time. It's time for you to reap some sort of reward. I just, I don't know why I feel so strongly about that. I do. Um, there could be a relocation here, an upcoming relocation. Somebody may be relocating. Coming out of a dark period, five of pentacles reversed. It's coming out of a darkness, okay? Coming out of an, a, a, an, aban an abandonment situation. It's like no longer being left behind. You're going to be receiving help you could be, or emotional su support from somebody. And something to do with seven years. This could do with a seven years. Something about seven Maybe it's been seven years or could have a seven-year-old child here. I don't know. 
lack of wish fulfillment here. Somebody is feeling like they're hopeless. They're feeling that their their dreams are going to never come true or whatever. But something is, it's time to go someplace else. Somebody's going to be going someplace else or something is arriving. It's time. It's coming out of a sad situation, honestly. You're coming out of it. Coming out of conflict, coming out of some sort of crisis. That's what we got here, too. It's the end of difficulty. There could be a change in the home. Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's a, there's, somebody's moving. Somebody is moving. There could be a change in the family living circumstances. Ten of Pentacles reversed. There's a lack of stability. There's a lack of security. There's nothing, no long-term uh, stability here. There could be a, uh, a breakup or a divorce or a split or, uh, I mean, the Ten of Pentacles, somebody could even be changing jobs, put it that way. Relocating for a job. There's definitely relocation here. Somebody could be moving there could be, there could, there's, there's the end of something that used to be stable. It's not, or it never was stable or whatever. This is the end of something that really isn't stable. It's time to go someplace else, whether it's your job or it's your home. This is something big. We have a completion of something that just has no more potential for abundance. There's just no more growth there. There's no stability. There's no security. And there's going to be a change. Something is coming to an end. And it's like, it's just all of a sudden too, because we go from the five to the 10 here. It's like, it's a big jump. It's a big leap. It's, it's just like, boom. All of a sudden there's a, there's some sort of relocation. Time's up. So there's a big change coming, Libra. But whatever it is, going to make you happy, even though you may think that it's not going to make you happy. I think that it is. Okay, with that page of cups. This is this is like a Cupid or uh, an outside influence bringing you an opportunity for love. Ooh, there's a, something, somebody, there's a lack of growth. Somebody is in poor health. There's no growth. Um, somebody is probably hasn't been in a happy situation. It really hasn't been very bright. You know, there's this lack of bright and this is lack of brightness. So things haven't been looking very bright, have they? There's been a lack of happiness and a lack of growth. But I feel like there's help arriving. I feel like this is help. This is emotional support or a new offer or a new opportunity for love that is going to help you to heal. This is lack of healing and this is like there's healing that is needed. And and whoever they're bringing into your life, this person may be at a distance, okay? Just saying. Whoever is coming in or wherever you're going, it's going to help you to heal. I feel as though you have manifested this change. It's like you've asked for it and you may and you may have asked for it subconsciously. Okay? You may have asked for a renewal or asked for a rebirth and you may not even remember asking for it. I'm just saying that's crazy. There could have something to do with a child here. There could be you know, there definitely could have something to do with a child here. But anyhow, um, there's been a lack of growth, a lack of good health. Somebody's health has been declining. But I think that this is a change. This is definitely a change. Things, you know, things, things come and they go. I feel as though you have manifested something, a new opportunity. You definitely have. This is somebody who is willing to take action to bring success as above, so below. And this is, you may feel like your, your wish is never going to be granted, but I think that it is. This is, this is, yes, okay, yes. This is a yes answer to one of your questions. So yes, it's time to heal. It's time for you to be happy. So you will be happy, but you may not believe it. You may be, be you may be thinking, I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to get what I want. Well, 
the thing with manifestation is sometimes when you ask for something, they bring you something completely different, but it's what you're meant to get, but it's not exactly what you asked for. So I think that's what's going to happen here. This may not be exactly what you asked for, but it's exactly what you asked for in another way. Okay? So I think that it is time for you to receive something that you asked for, but it's not what you think it is. Okay? All right. We think we got that one cleared up. Um, there's a divine connection here. Put it that way. You may not, you may, you may not believe it. You may not be aware of it, but there is a divine connection here. There is, there could be a reconciliation. We have the Six of Cups. A reconciliation with somebody. Could be a family member. It could be a brother or a sister or somebody from your past. It could be somebody that you have, uh, been waiting to reconcile with. This could be a reconciliation with the Six of Cups. Now this is uh, memories. This is, somebody, this is somebody that you know. I think that there is going to be it's like you've called in a soulmate or you th seriously you've called in some sort of reunion and but it's you know what I think I think it's not who you think it is or, or, or it's in a different way. This is like, this is like called in a soulmate. I'm not kidding. Okay. It is. But you're in it. You, you probably have lost hope or something like that. Now the soulmate may not be who you think it is. So that's another thing too. We get a lot of people who think, oh, it's, it's gotta be this person. Well, it may not be. Anyway, it's the end of difficulty. It's the end of in abandonment and neglect. It's the end of being in an unstable situation. Somebody is about to, uh, it's time, it's time. Ace of Swords. Now this is the truth, the sword of power. This is a wake up call, an awakening of some sort. Some, somebody is going to receive some sort of communication that is very honest and truthful. This is going right here. This communication that comes in is going to awaken the feelings of love. Okay? So there is going to be awakening of the feeling. You're going to feel what love is. Trust me. You are. Whoever is coming in that is giving you this opportunity is honest and truthful and genuine. But this is also the sword that cuts through bullshit. It does. This is the sword of truth. It is the sword of power. Somebody is going to be given the power Or they're going to be given the opportunity to choose something else because the Four of Cups is reversed. This is seizing a new opportunity. It's, it's the end of stagnation. Okay? If you have been in a period of stagnation and waiting, it is, it is over. Something must be trying to get my dog's food. The cat must be trying to eat the dog's food. Just don't worry about it. Anyway, um, that's that kind of bark. I, I, I know. <laughs> anyway, I apologize. This is a new opportunity. Somebody is leaving an unstable situation. It's over. It's done. And they're going into something that is... They're taking the new opportunity. This is a new opportunity. This one is too. Somebody's going to be receiving communication that somebody is taking a new opportunity and they're moving 
or they're giving somebody else the opportunity. There's a, there's a change here, a change in, at your job or a change in the home. No, oh, somebody is definitely moving. Somebody is definitely, definitely, definitely moving. They are moving very fast in a new direction. And, and, and this is this is like a huge change. It really is. This is where uh, it's like you're facing opposition. You're steering. You're leaving the road behind you. It's just, it's just like you're moving forward and you aren't looking back. There's no looking back. You are headed in a new direction. Somebody is actually packing up their stuff in boxes, whatever, and moving. And this is like in a vehicle, getting in a vehicle. Somebody is going to be in a vehicle and going someplace. It's away from this unstable situation. It is. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You also have... Uh, we also have Leo here, but it's in reverse. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys are going to be receiving. It's almost like somebody comes in and guides you out of a situation that has been stagnant, where there's no more growth, which has been stealing your energy. It's been stealing your ambition. It's been unhealthy. It's been sucking you dry. Maybe you've been in a situation where you've been with a with a. Uh, insecure individual who was unhealthy and they were stealing your energy and I think you may have been maybe even subconsciously begging for some sort of change or asking for something and you may have not even known that your prayers were being answered but it feels like your prayers are being answered I feel like there is going to be a very rapid change I mean that I can't make this shit up there is going to be a very, very, very rapid change here with the Knight of Swords and the Chariot. This is rapid. It's like something rushes in or somebody rushes in and uh, takes you away. Something like that. Um, takes you for a ride or uh, encourages you to go here, encourages you to go there, whatever. This could be a professional. This is somebody that... Um, is very very intelligent intelligent and knows what they want and does it it's like I know what I gotta do and I'm going to do it get out of my way so I feel like there's gonna definitely be some travel this month somebody is traveling to a new destination it could happen very suddenly there could be this is a, this is very sudden the Knight of Swords there's a sudden um, departure or arrival if you are single somebody could suddenly be arriving into your life this could be a soulmate connection somebody could re be reuniting with a soulmate totally 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 unexpectedly whatever is happening your your feelings of love are absolutely going to be awakened your prayers are going to be answered but they might not be answered in the way that you thought they were going to be answered um, there's a situation where somebody hasn't been able to heal with the both of these cards, but I feel like there's some sort of help arriving. This could be a friend, it could be a, a, fr a crush, or somebody that turns into a love relationship, something like that. I do see definite relocation here for somebody. Somebody is definitely relocating, whether it's job or home or whatnot. Um, or somebody could be moving. There's a change in your in your establishment. An establishment can be job or or home. So somebody could be moving in, moving out, or you could be uh, getting a new job, leaving that job, whatever the case is. There's there's a change in an establishment here. There's going to be a new opportunity that is presented that is uh, perfect for you, and I think that you're going to move forward and it's going to lead you towards victory. It's going to lead you towards success. It's going to lead you towards triumph. There's going to be communication. There's going to be messages. There's going to be somebody's going to get this awakening that changes their direction very, 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 very fast. Awakening changes direction very, very fast. Okay. This is a communication or awakening changes direction very fast. Okay. 
Um, somebody could be, if you are completely single, somebody could be charging into your life and swooping you up and taking you away and you're in complete shock. You may be traveling for the holidays. You didn't even see it coming. Um, it's a bit, who, whatever is happening, it's based out of pure, uh, emotion and love. Um, I just happen to see like the white roses, which is roses are a symbol of love and white is pure. So this is pure. This is, this is pure. And this six of cups is love. Okay. So whatever is happening, it's, it's, it's based out of honesty, truth, um, it's very genuine. It's very real. Okay. You are going to be given a new opportunity and I think it's going to be seized. This is the seized. It's, it's a good opportunity after being in a very sad situation where you may have been abandoned, ghosted, left behind, you know, and you may have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I think the waiting is over. Okay, it's time. It's harvest time. It's time for you to reap some sort of benefit for all the hard work that you have put in or that you have done or the manifestation you have been doing or whatever it is. It's like your wish is going to be granted, but I, I really feel like your wish is being granted in not a way that you absolutely asked. Okay, they're, they're going to grant your wish, but it's not the way that you pictured it. Okay, this is an opportunity for love. This is when I get the page of cups, especially at the first card, it's like Cupid or the angels. It's kind of like the lover's card is bringing you an opportunity for love. Okay, but it's, 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 uh, I honestly feel like it's not what you expect. I do. That's what I need to tell you. Um, it's definitely going to be an emotional time. You're going to be receiving some sort of good news after being in a very, um, it's like an unhealthy situation where there was no growth and somebody was stealing your energy. They were stealing, like stealing the life from you. I think that's over. It's, I, I do, I do. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than get prepared to receive some really good news. Okay. That you may have, this is good news. It really is. And it's the first card. And that's very prominent for me. This good news is going to change your direction very, very, very fast. And it is going to lead you to some sort of a successful outcome that you didn't even see coming. You didn't even see it coming. If you are completely single, there is somebody rushing into your life. And it could be a Gemini or a Cancer um, that is going to just... Uh, love you six of cups you're going to feel very familiar with this person you're going to be feeling very happy with this person whoever it is some of you could be relocating back home going back home somebody could be going back home coming back home there's definitely going to be rapid movement eight of wands rapid change a lot of messages a lot of a lot of communication going back and forth and this is all about love i know that this these are the rods of love somebody is ready and things are going to this is going to be a month of movement for you things it's just going to be boom 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 so things are changing fast libra get ready Good luck.